I'm going to attempt to show you how to install a trifecta tune and it happens to be on my 2014 Chevy Cruze LT. Um, I'm sure that almost any car that you get a trifecta tune for, any newer car with an OBD2 port, is going to be the same, but follow the directions of trifecta if you know you're not sure so first we got to set up our computer and we'll get started by going to search typing in power edit power plan now this is a windows 11 software 10 is very similar it's not much different on other ones, so if you do it this way, you'll find it. Unless you already know where it's at. Just pop right up. I'm going to go on battery. You would do the same thing if you're going to plug it in just over here. I'm not going to change these. So instead of 10 minutes turning off the display, I'm going to go uh, 20. And then on put the computer to sleep, I am going to say um, an hour. Um that way there, if I forget to turn the computer off, it'll still won't kill itself completely. This is just to ensure that your computer does not turn off while you're flashing your tune. You really want to do this. Save changes. And I lost my cursor. There it is. Close out of that. All right, so we did the power settings. Now we're going to go to, I use Chrome. Open up a window in Chrome. I'm going to type in trifecta performance, all one word, hit enter, uh, go right to downloads. The first thing you want to do is click on Easy Flash 1.35. It'll start to download it into your download folder. Then down here where your tune files are, I. Uh, I had four, now I'm down to one for some reason. You open this up and you click on download this file. Let's see if there's any more down here. Nope, that's it. I got one left. So you would download. I'm not going to do it again. I already have it. Uh, so we'll go back to this and we're going to watch for another minute or so. I'll fast forward this so we don't have to get bored okay once the, the tune file downloads you can uh, this is an extra step I do you don't have to do this show it in folder Wayne Norton saying it needs to see something here it's good close all right so here's the tune file setup or uh, yeah, easy play. It's tune file setup. They call it. I copy it, copy, and then because this is in the downloads, I always delete this stuff once a, a month or so, and then uh, I keep a copy in by my trifecta files. So they figure out how to get there again. Auto cruise. <clears throat> Trifecta, and then I paste it here. So now I have a clean copy of this file if I need it in the future and I'm not on the internet. So from this point, we're going to run this file. Open, I guess. It's asking me if I want to run it anyways. Yes. So here's the, I don't know why it should, normally it just pops up, but I agree, install, uh, allow, close, so now Trifecta Easy Flash is installed. Now these are my, I, I don't know if I said this, these are my four tune files. This is the one I want to uh install so now before i do anything else let's uh real quick when you get your cable um 
cable. Here it is. Look at it. This happens to me. My model is TFE Z010U. So make sure the pins are okay. Make sure the USB port looks okay. Mine sticks really well, so it's a little difficult to get off. Anyways, now we're going to go out to the vehicle. We'll, we'll pick up from here in a minute. So you locate your uh, OBD2 port. Mine happens to be a little loose, so I can bring it down here so you can see. Just line it up. I have to kind of tilt it in for some reason. This, Like I said, this cable's a little tight. Uh, so it'll tell you it's connected, but it's not connected to the computer. So this should change to green once I plug it into the computer. There, I plugged it into the computer and it changed to green. Now, my feet are off of the brake pedal. The key is off and I, you, you probably can't see it, but the green light is still on. I'm plugged into the computer and I'm uh, just about ready to go here. I'm gonna go back to the trifecta thing. So you wanna be in your screen for your tune. So now before I do anything, I'm gonna click, turn the key two clicks, one, Two. You want all the Christmas tree to light up. And now you're ready to go. Okay, so we left the, this folder open with my tune files in it. We're plugged in. The green light's still green. We're good to go. See, in the, in the Easy Flash has already been installed. Now you can go to Easy Flash and start from there, but the easiest thing to do is find the tune you want. This one happens to be, I still have my the factory wastegate on here, and I had the speedometer changed to 61 instead of 60 to match my GPS and my detector, because it seems like the car's off about a mile. So you can ask for that when you order your tune. So you double click on the file, Easy Flash comes up, you're going to go to Program, Program Vehicle, I want the custom, I don't want stock, now maybe if I was going to sell it or something I go back to stock, that, that's up to you. Accept, Enable Transparency, so what that does is it um, allows it to look like it's a factory tune to most machines except and now it's going to go through the process it'll tell you what it's completed and this probably takes about two or three minutes so I'll fast forward this so you don't have to sit here and be bored to tears Okay, once it finish, finishes, you just say OK. Once Easy Flash is, is completed uh, loading your tune onto the vehicle, uh, really all you need to do is uh, shut the vehicle off, unplug from the computer, and then, you know, shut your computer off and uh, unplug from the OBD2 port. It's for downloading the tune, you're finished. Uh, later on, when you actually drive if you purchased a sport tune in addition to a, a factory tune um, when the cruise control is on this is cruise control on uh, that's your factory tune a um, little, little better fuel mileage and, and, and a few other things and then when you are ready to go go to the track or whatever you're going to do just turn cruise control off and away you go so uh, now we'll go back to the computer. Once you're all done, you got your tune installed, and if you got some other questions and you don't want to wait for Trifecta to answer you, it's a possibility that somebody on 
Cruise Talk might be able to help you out. Um, it's www.cruisetalk, C-R-U-Z-E-T-A-L-K dot com. Uh, log in. Um, you, there's a, a join menu. Once you've joined, this will be your uh, first screen. And you come up here to this little hamburger. And these are all the different parts of the community. Um, if you have a, a Gen 1, you can go to Gen 1 Tuning. If you have a Gen 2, you can go to Gen 2 Tuning and ask your questions about the tune. I uh, hope to see you there, and uh, thanks for watching.